Center where the Terps take down the Iowa Hawkeyes 91 73. Big second half for Fernando. It's a very interesting game. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Posner, and our guest Robert Stevens from i95ballers.com. Bruce, what'd you make of it tonight? Great win. Uh, you know, Iowa came out with a mission. I think McCaffrey, when he had the two tacticals, I think he did it on purpose, trying to fire up the team, and it worked because they took the lead in the second half. But overall, they put in Tomayek, and the game changed. No more silly turnovers, no more mistakes, and to me, he was the difference tonight. Not that he scored that much. I think that Morsel was also under control. This is our mate. On the uh, on press row, a good fr good buddy of mine, Robert Stevens. Your take on the game tonight? Thank you much for uh, first of all for inviting me to be on your podcast. Coach Surgeon from in the beginning has been able to make some very good changes in the second half. We've sat there and watched the first half. Maryland has struggled offensively. The young freshman uh, from Baltimore has to work on his offensive game, but he drove to the hole and plays some very good defense. But I think the adjustments that Coach Turgeon has made in the second half has been a big difference in the ball game. Yeah, it certainly was tonight, Wayne. Well, you know, you said, can Maryland hit 50? They get to 49. We were here a couple of weeks ago. They got to 19. It was a big deal. 40, 49's better than 15. 91 points. Bruce, two weeks ago, when all these injuries hit, you said, where are the points going to come from? We'll go over that scoring list. Never would have thought we'd see 91. No. I mean, never. I'll be honest with you. And for those of you wondering, Deion Wiley poked in the eye, missed the second half. Nickens has got to step up a little bit. He's got to pick his game up. Right. Wiley was great in the first half. He's, he turned the game around. Yeah. Uh, Robert, he scores 10 points in five minutes. It changed the game in Maryland's favor. Yeah, and I think, you know, when you're dealing with college players, confidence is such a factor. We know when Nickens was at West Town, uh, known high school program, he was a shooter. And we know he can shoot. I think it's a matter of confidence if he gets his confidence back because he has to, the team is going to have to rely on him. There's no doubt about that. He has to step up to the plate. All right, so being I think in, confidence is a big one. Being in D.C. and for a long time, Robert's a big Georgetown fan. You want to recap that Creighton game yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I, I am a native Washingtonian, born at Howard University. Let's not forget the dear Howard Bison. But uh, yeah, Georgetown has got this. They got to recruit. That's that's the bottom line. Hopefully, Pat will do a good job. Over you know he there. will. What, right. a, what a great yeah, guy. But, yeah, but right now, they they, they just don't have uh, the elite ball players that they need to compete in that conference. All righty, you are listening to the Viner Four Gates Post Game Show here at Xfinity Center, Maryland over the Hawkeyes, 91-73. We'll be back with the scoreboard in a moment. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Back here at Xfinity Center, and thanks to Meyer Consulting Engineers for their sponsorship. There are West Virginia guys, and West Virginia took it to Oklahoma the Listen, other day. They beat up Trey Young. They hit him in the side. They hit him in the back. They hit him in the head. He still scored 29 points, but they made him ineffective with West Virginia. And West Virginia, very good defensive school. First very of all, good. you could never count out Huggy Bear. Right. Love his ball players. Strong. He likes those New York ball players. Not the flashy top five star athletes, but they get in there and they grind and you could never count out West Virginia, especially with that booming cannon they got down there in Morgantown. They'll blow your ears off, but that's that's a tough place to go and play. Definitely. And it was the other day for Maryland, 91 points. Herder, a decent game, four of 11. I'm sorry, Cowan, four of 11, 15 points, seven assists. A great defensive job on Bohannon. 
he hounded Bohannon the entire game. If you remember, Bohannon had 30 last year? Uh, we interviewed him after the game. You can go look that up on Turp Talk. Bohannon for Iowa tonight, 5 of 10 beyond the arc. He had two free throws. He has 17, did not dominate. Uh, back to the Maryland side, Herder 12, Marcel dunks a few down the stretch, he has 14, Checo, an uneven game, but he's 5 for 5 from the floor with 13 points. Let's talk about Bruno Fernando, he's starting to blow up, 21 points, 8 of 11, 5 of 7 from the line, 7 rebounds. i got to ask Robert about this because he's been around a long time like me, he's tied into the Wizards and Washington and everything. Is Fernando a one and done guy? No. You don't think he is? No, he has a lot to work on defensively and on offense. But one more like year, it tonight. one year, yeah, tonight he did, but we'll see what he looks like against Michigan State, Michigan, and some of these other teams. They had to be out of way. Look what happened to Michigan State. Wow, it's a, wow. I tell you what, Ohio That's State. That's why Maryland had to have this ball game. There's no doubt. They had they're, to have this they're ball They're going game. to Ohio State. I think I'm going to go, Wayne. I think it should go. Yeah, I think I'm going to go, but geez, it whiz. If Ohio State took them to the cleaners like they did, you know, it doesn't and, bode well. And they did. They, they really took it to Michigan State today. This game was tied at 6-1, to one, despite Fran McCaffrey getting thrown out. Despite all those free throws, Maryland looked like they had it. Game's still tied at 61, 11 minutes to go. Four minutes later, game is over. Cowan heats up. It's 73 66. Then Cook and Fernando get into it. Did you get a clear look at that in the replay? I'm scared of that a little bit because he, he taunted the guy on top. Now, he didn't swing at him. But we saw him, like, taunt him. And it, well, I thought he went to help him up, and Cook refused the handshake, and both Fernando and Cook get a technical. I, I'm glad that's all it was because I'm not sure how the rule goes if you get thrown out, if you got to miss a game. I, I'm thinking lacrosse, so, right. I mean, I, I'm right. not really positive. But uh, whatever. I love well, the intensity of Fernando, though. Okay. But he has, to, he has to keep it calm. Well, that big he dunk. To, he has to keep it calm. A couple of times I thought he got a little overly excited, and you don't want to antagonize the referees. That's one thing you don't You never win do. when you do that. You right. never win. No, you so, never win. from this game, the, the big dunk with 2.34 left, a lob pass to Cowan, dunks it right here to off to my right. What'd you think of that posterizing dunk? Oh, monster dunk, monster dunk. The kid's athletic. But I still think, you know, he has a lot to work on, and I don't see one and done. I see another year work. How many minutes did Cowan play tonight? Cowan, Anthony Cowan, only plays 37 minutes. We had discussed, remember we had discussed before that we were concerned about Turgeon managing his minutes, and I thought Morcel did a pretty good job of coming in and handling the ball. See, we got to remember one thing about Morcel, is that he's a freshman. Yeah. And you can't, look, he's playing great, but you can't expect too much. It's a process. Right. And by the end of the year, maybe he can spell him at guard. A little bit. Maybe he can. Okay, so I was looking at some of the older video from last year uh, and the ugly sweater segment. I think you, you were away. But we have to get Robert something other than Carolina Blue to wear to these games. Oh, that's oh, just God. a coincidence. Listen, they set me up on this one. I'll be ready next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, so, that about does it for tonight. One more thing I want to talk about. First of all, Turp Talk on Wednesday night. Uh, this will be up tomorrow. And uh, five Terps made the USA lacrosse team. I'm proud of that factor. However, Brian Phipps was robbed. He should have been one of the goalies. And guess who got the winning goal last night for Team USA? Oh, uh, it's probably a, a current Terp. Go ahead, let me know. Connor Kelly uh, didn't make the team, but we know he'll be the star in 22. Go Terps. That's right. Go Terps. So Maryland takes it 91-73 over the Iowa Hawkeyes. Bruce. Women did. The women won. Oh, the women blew out Wisconsin at Wisconsin. Overall, it's, it's been a good weekend. And before we hang up here tonight, North Dakota State beats James Madison. Go Bison. Jordan's happy. He's on the way back. Congratulations, Jordan. On the way back to North Dakota tomorrow. Good evening from Xfinity Center. All right. Thank you. Thank Good you, night, Robert. And thank you, fellas. Thank All you. Right.